Okay, I got this question today. Hi, Michelle, I love watching your videos. I have a quick question. I have done a few paintings on 100% cotton duck raw canvas with acrylics and also used some staining technique in some areas. It's not covered in paint, but more like different shapes. I've heard many things about painting directly on raw canvas. My question is, since I didn't apply a clear gesso, how can I now protect my canvas? Will it get damaged? Can I add gesso over my artwork or a varnish? Your thoughts would be greatly appreciated, thanks. Excellent question. So with acrylics, they can be applied directly on raw canvas and that they are the perfect paint for stain painting. Now the early stain painters didn't always have access to them and there are people who've stained with oils, but oils have acids in them that over time will eat away the canvas but acrylics actually seal it. So you're fine with painting on raw canvas. And I have a whole class on Craftsy about that if you want, if you're interested, I can link it below. Um, but so what you've probably heard about painting on raw canvas is relating to oil painting, any kind of potential, I don't wanna use the word danger, but you know, um, anything that might impact the longevity of the painting, right? So if you don't care about the longevity of your painting, you do what you want, you paint on whatever surface you want with whatever makes you happy. But if you're concerned about the painting lasting, then uh, if you're working on raw canvas, stick with the acrylics. So it's fine that there are open patches and uncovered um, patches, and that's a wonderful technique. And you can't do stain painting if you put clear gesso because it seals the canvas so you won't have that wonderful effect of the paint seeping into um you know into the crevices and the fibers of the canvas and making that sort of watercolor stain like effect look at helen frankenthaler for a, a beautiful example of this there are many other painters sam gilliam um, morris lewis and so forth so i talk about um I think I talk about that in the Craftsy class. I do have some videos on YouTube that talk about um, stain painting. They were just done kind of on the fly many years ago when I was lecturing and teaching at Portland State University. So they're not super pro quality. The Craftsy class is really high quality. So um, you can get lots of info there. Uh, but yeah, you can watch those videos and I have, I think, a little playlist. I'll link it um, so that you can see the playlist on YouTube with all my stain painting videos. So hopefully that helps. Now, as far as what you may not have been asking about, but I will address is protecting the whole overall painting. And you did say varnish. So um, it's not to protect the canvas, which was what your question implied, but it's to protect the whole painting. So you can do some spray acrylic varnishes, like the mineral spirit based ones on canvas. I thought that was weird. I didn't think it would work, but I checked with Golden Artist Colors and they said it was fine that, and I did some tests. Um, so working directly with those mineral spirit based varnishes, Liquitex makes one, Golden makes one. Um, I'm sure there are other companies. Those are just the ones I happen to be familiar with and I'll put some links below to those products. But I did do a series of tests on raw canvas on paper. Those um, varnishes will slightly yellow paper or canvas so they will change the color slightly. So that would be something you would wanna test on a little scrap first, if that's really going to bother you. Um, to my knowledge, none of those paintings that you see in the museums by um, Helen Frankenthaler were protected with any kind of varnish. So that's up to you as the artist. Um, often a varnish is more done for fading of pigments or for, and it sounds like you have some areas that are not only stained, but heavier application of color. And what can happen, I talk about this in my hows, how and why to varnish an acrylic painting in detail, which I will link that video also for you, that acrylic paint has a porous surface. So it's microscopic, you don't see it, but it has pores like our skin. But think of our, our skin was made of glue. <laughs> 
<laughs> and the pore, when things got in the pores of our skin, they never came out again. Fortunately, our skin isn't made of glue and we can wash it and wash off dust and dirt and pollutants. But an acrylic painting, you can't do that. So what happens is things stick to it over time and they can adhere to the painting and will not be removable except by removing a layer of paint. So that's why people do a varnish coat. So some things to consider. This is all your decision. I just like to present information and have you be well informed. Um, sometimes as artists, we make decisions because the varnish is going to impact the actual look that we're going for that we choose not to varnish. And that's your, that's your prerogative. That's your option. All right. Thank you for the wonderful question. And I did get that via Instagram. It's actually a great way to send me questions because I, they come directly into my messages. So thank you for that, Jessica. And I um, look forward to more questions to answer for you all. Have a great week painting, a great month painting, a great life painting. Just have a great life in general. And I'll see you on the next one. Oh, you know, Subscribing helps, you know, helps this channel get the word out. I have a lot of great information. I have over 200 videos here. Hopefully you can dig some more deeply into it and get um, some useful information for painters and creative people. All right, take it easy. Bye. So one quick addendum. I didn't address the part of the question about putting clear gesso on top of the stained painting, and that's perfectly all right. It's actually a really cool thing about clear gesso because it's clear, and I say clear in air quotes because it's not clear transparent like a gloss medium would be, and if you want to see what I'm talking about, you can refer to my video I'm going to link here about the difference between matte medium and gloss medium, and I have discs of them so you can see just the pure medium with nothing added, dried, and the difference. Well, clear gesso is not as opaque as matte medium, but it does have some toothy aggregates to help um, paint stick to it and pull, like thick paint pull off of the brush when you apply it as your first coat. So, um, but there's no reason, absolutely no reason that you can't use it on top. And that's back to what I just want to remind all you acrylic painters, how completely flexible the medium is. I love acrylic for that reason. There are not a ton of rules like an oil painting about fat over lean and different weights drawing at different rates and you know the old style varnishes that crack and all that stuff. It's like you can mix this with that and throw that on top of that, you know, gel medium, molding paste, modeling paste, glass beads, mix them all up in a pot, throw them on your canvas, and then like spray it with acrylic spray paint. I mean, you go crazy, have fun. The really the only, you know, big mistake, and you know how I hate to use word mistakes because I want every artist to feel super free to experiment and try their ideas out. But I just want you to know, if you haven't seen my video, I think it's got like 5 million views now. Worst mistake acrylic painters make, and that's about the underbinding and adding um, too much water. So in this case, if you've got a clear gesso on top and you want to put, um, really washy stain paint, if you add too much water, you might not get a good adhesion. But in this case, that's not what she was asking. She was just asking about putting clear gesso on top of the pre-painted, pre-stained areas. And that's A-OK. -okay. You can put it on top of gloss medium, matte medium, gloss gel, gloss heavy gel, whatever you want. Just because it's a gesso doesn't mean it can only go in the first layer. You have fun. Play with it. Let me know how you do. I love hearing about your experiments. And I hope this video helps.